The opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Consult a financial professional before you invest. Remember to educate yourself first and have the ability to ask the right questions. Hold your financial professional accountable. You and only you are accountable to your wealth and legacy. Welcome to the Wealthy Bucket. So who are Wealthy Bucket followers? Wealthy Bucket followers are investors that are looking for a change. They understand that wealth can be created through investing in the markets and are willing to make the necessary changes in their lives and their beliefs about investing. Wealthy Bucket followers are ready and willing to be proactive about their money. What is Wealthy Bucket all about? Wealthy Bucket is a space created for investors to obtain market information, investment ideas, and education. Wealthy Bucket, simply put, is all about acquiring the results that you want through thought out, deliberate actions. At Wealthy Bucket, we are all students of the market and we are always striving to be better. When is a good time to be part of the Wealthy Bucket community? When is always determined by the individual. If you're doing very well, and Wealthy Bucket can turn that into great, then that will be our mission together. If you know that you can do better, then we will get there together. Pain isn't always negative. It's about moving towards a goal. However, the individual's mindset is the only obstacle that will cause failure. When you're ready for change, Wealthy Bucket will be here. So why should a person follow Wealthy Bucket? The whys are quite simple. Wealthy Bucket is all about reaching an individual's wealth goals and ultimately planning to leave a positive financial legacy for loved ones. How does a person benefit from Wealthy Bucket? Wealthy Bucket is about giving back, giving back to the community and giving back to investors. Content will not be made available unless we truly believe the investor can benefit. Wealthy Bucket is committed to charity as we believe giving prepares an individual to receive. When it comes to an investing, we must control the finite. Your time, your finances. Time and money are the major finite obstacles that stand between you and your goal. How you manage your time or how you put your time to good use has a deep correlation to successful investing and building that lasting legacy. Poor management or use of your time can result in lackluster results. Generally speaking, investors have worked too many hours and for too many years to have their wealth not grow at a satisfactory rate. Investors accept their circumstance or the information hunt and then chase the market in hopes of making money and making up lost time. We will cover this topic again momentarily. Where does the urgency truly lie? The urgency lies with the individual, period. This is not a sales pitch. As stated earlier, individuals will follow Wealthy Bucket when they are ready for change. Wealthy Bucket was created for individuals ready to make changes in their lives and finances. Individuals generally won't walk more than 10 steps before the pebble in their shoe causes too much pain and annoyance. Think about that. Investors, however, will live with pain and annoyance with their financial results for decades. We feel this is because they have accepted their circumstance and feel that they are beyond control. They are not. There are two major components to any investment. First, theoretical or knowledge. It's the due diligence process. This is by far the easiest component to learn. Not to take away from the importance of knowledge, however, it's just knowledge. Knowledge is only power if it can be organized and acted upon. Which leads us to number two. It's all on you. It's the emotions an investor feels once they've cut the check or push the buy button. Investors plan for weeks or months to invest in real estate just to make sure that the probability of losing money is low. 
investors can spend days to weeks analyzing a stock, and when they finally convince themselves to participate, the price has already moved. What can be more stressful is, the investor is panicking when they are making money, and they panic when they are not. This behavior can cause an investor to bail out on their hours of analysis and create a habit of never following through with their plans. There are a number of books that we will refer our readers to in the coming weeks. Remember, even if you read the books, it's just knowledge transfer. The rest is all on you. Always have a defined plan of action. If your financial plan is simply based on long-term results, you may want to reconsider. Ask yourself, what is long-term? It's different for every investor. When your long term has arrived, what is the probability that your investments have grown to your number? As we all know, the markets move up and they move down. What would happen if your long term ended during a period of uncertainty or worse, recession? What would your situation be like if your long term came to an end and you've achieved your goals? Not because you were lucky, but because you took deliberate and constant action. You had a plan that was reviewed constantly and not twice a year. Put together a defined plan of action from routine right on down to how you go about selecting your investments. You will always receive the rewards of the effort that you put in. There are common perceptions of investing. Investing can be perceived as difficult. The skill of investing becomes really difficult to acquire when the investor does not have a model or formula that actually works. The model doesn't have to be correct all the time in order for it to be considered successful. Investors who want to be right all the time need to really check their egos at the door. The model must provide a high level of due diligence along with provision to assist the investor to manage their money. Investors today have too much information so they deem investing difficult and have a hard time trusting industry professionals. Investing can also be viewed as time consuming. Well, any skill worth learning takes time. Think about a skill that you do very well. How long did it take you? How much time and money did you invest in yourself to acquire that skill? Wealthy bucket readers are individuals who will change and are committed to deliberate action. Investing can be viewed as risky. Investing is risky. Even those who understand what they are doing adopt some form of risk when making an investment. Ask yourself, do you understand how to properly manage your risk? Investing can be gambling if you really want it to be. Generally, most people don't want that. Investing can be seen as simply based on luck. Well, roulette is luck. Investing is all skill. People view other success as luck because they lack financial literacy. Another perception is that the financial services industry is filled with individuals with low morals and questionable ethics. Whenever there is an exchange of money for service or product, this can spawn poor behavior. It is unfortunate. As always, learn and learn from your mistakes so you can ask the right questions. It's your money. The realities of investing, well, it can be learned. Like any skill, investing can be and should be learned. Do you really want to acquire this specialized skill? Put a plan in place and take action. Remember, the two finite obstacles in an individual's life are time and money. Do not teach yourself. This is not like learning how to make clay pots. You can lose your money. 
and you will have wasted your time once again. Investing or learning how to invest takes less time than watching your favorite television shows. The amount of time you put in on a weekly basis can be less than three hours if you learn to be proficient and efficient. Investing in the markets is like going shopping. If you don't see the deals you want, then you leave the store. This is why they say women make better investors than men. How you spend your time is always going to be your choice. Will you make it productive and move towards the goals you've wanted or wait till Monday to start? Or worse, another New Year's resolution. Investing is risky if you keep making the same mistakes and do not seek guidance to become literate. Seeking financial literacy is the first step towards managing your risk. Finding all the reasons to not make the investment will save you thousands. Investing isn't luck. Investing is deliberate planned action and reaction. If you have ever deliberately repeated a success in your life over and over again and you are consistent, is that called luck? Wealthy Bucket was created to bridge that gap between investors and financial services. There are genuinely good professionals out there who want the best for their clients. We truly believe that. We want the individual to have the literacy to ask the right questions, to spot the bad apples. Again, it's your money. You worked hard for it. Learn to keep and grow it. These are Wealthy Bucket core investing beliefs. Investors are buying the stock, not the company. We believe that there is some confusion with investors that they're actually buying a part of the company. In theory, they are. The realities are that unless the investor owns more than 1% of the outstanding shares, their voting rights are meaningless. Investors are purchasing stock. They are making an investment that they are not tied to for life. Investors simply want to participate in the appreciation of the stock price. We found that most investors like to analyze a stock based on the company's fundamentals. The real issue here is that most investors are not qualified to look at the actual fundamentals of a company. These types of investors are actually news driven. Find out what forces actually cause a stock to move up or down. Investors really should consider other asset classes. There are other asset classes available to investors. Asset classes such as options and futures. We are not implying that the investor should go out and start investing their money into option and futures contracts immediately. Remember, the biggest risk an investor can take is not knowing what they're actually doing. Learn first. Be around others who are accomplishing what you are trying to accomplish. Using other assets will provide more opportunities and adaptability to the market. We will be covering more of these topics in upcoming videos. It's not about how active or inactive. It's really about being deliberate and proactive. In our opinion, there seems to be a common mis misconception about being an investor and a trader. Investing is thought of as long term. Trading is thought of as a short term action. Take a moment and think about what the goals are if you were to choose one or the other or even both. It's to capture a profit, period. What is long term? Two months? Seven years? What is short term? Two minutes or two weeks? The question an investor should be asking is, how much upside is left in the investment that I have? If the investor only sees limited upside, then maybe the investor could start to look at liquidating the position and keep the profits. Why should an investor turn a winning position into a losing position? 
This happens way too often. We believe that trading is simply the action of the investment. Think about it. To buy a stock, a trade must be made. The trade-off is cash. Well, to get the cash back, a trade must be made to sell the stock. There is no reference to time frame or timeline. Trading is just the action. A lot of investors have perpetual open investments. They never close the trade. Be adaptable. Know what you're looking at. Financial literacy should be your top priority. Not to make money. Remember, if you are illiterate in the financial markets and you are investing, your risk is super high. Just be honest with yourself. If you are not completely confident with what you're looking at, maybe it's time to do something about that. Once you have acquired financial literacy, it's all about deliberate action, knowing what to look for and knowing what to do when the opportunity arises. Without consistent investment income, there is no wealth preservation, just degradation. Investors seek preservation and growth. It's tough with typical investment strategies. If you've been investing for more than five years, then you'll know exactly what we mean. An investor cannot have wealth protection and growth without an investment income that is greater than their expenses, period. What's your number? How much will you need to handle your annual expenses after retirement? Will your money be growing? Will you be required to dial down your lifestyle expectations? It's silly to have to think that you will need to budget more cautiously during your retirement years. Why did you work all of those years? An investor needs a drive income that is greater than the outflow of cash or the investor will simply experience degradation of wealth. Don't wait till you are retiring to figure out your goals. Plan now or life will plan it for you. This is a simple investment idea and it is not advice. Consult a financial professional before you invest. Wealthy Bucket is not a website about technical analysis. This is not a website about fundamental analysis. It's a website that will represent all aspects of investing. It's a website that will allow an investor to make an informed decision and understand what is actually happening with their money. Look at the chart. It's a price chart of DuPont. DuPont is a massive multinational blue chip company. Before making any investment, Wealthy Bucket will always assess market conditions and assess what the potential loss is. One of the biggest errors an investor can make is entering into an investments that have a higher probability of losing and a larger risk to reward ratio, meaning the money that can be lost is greater than the money that can be gained for a specific investment. Figuring out all of the whys before the whens is what we do at Wealthy Bucket. Arm yourself with financial literacy. Take a look at DuPont one more time. Is this a skill that you are willing to learn? It's not hard. It will be worth it. Remember, Wealthy Bucket is not providing investment advice or we're not trying to be like other websites that have outrageous returns. Wealthy Bucket will not go down that road. We want to change the perceptions of the financial services industry for the better. Things alter for the worse spontaneously if they not be altered for the better designedly. We sincerely appreciate you investing your time with Wealthy, Wealthy Bucket. Please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.